sunny morning here in Utah after several days of rain yesterday it rained continuously all day long sometimes hard sometimes light but definitely rain all day long most of the snow has melted off the ground but it's still up in the mountains more snow is expected it has been a brutal winter weather wise but I will talk about that more in just a little bit first I want to get some pancakes going my stomach is grumbling quick word about the sponsor of today's video, AG1. Well, hello, my little green bottle of goodness. <laughs> I definitely try to maintain healthy eating habits. However, I oftentimes fall short. I have a major sweet tooth and I occasionally like a little bit of junk food, not too often, but one healthy habit I have been able to maintain for well over a year now is taking my AG1 by Athletic Greens daily. It's so much more than greens. One daily serving delivers a comprehensive blend of core health products working together to fill nutrient gaps and deliver the foundation for better health. This little bottle right here is chock full of over 75 vitamins and minerals, prebiotics, probiotics, and all kinds of great stuff that your body craves. I've definitely tried other bottled supplements and vitamins over the years, but I've never been able to maintain taking them daily like I have my AG1. Optimized for athletes, life leads, and everyone in between. Athletic Greens is going to give my community an immune supporting free one year supply of vitamin D and five free travel packs for free with your first purchase. AG1 makes it super easy to maintain a healthy regimen. I've been recommending it to you all for a very long time. I would not talk about it unless I absolutely believed in it. If you'd like to get yours too, make sure to click that link below. I want to once again thank Athletic Greens for sponsoring this video. Now back to the show. Those pancakes were so good and they definitely hit the spot. Pancakes always remind me of my grandma McGinnis. She would make us either pancakes or waffles when we would come to spend the night with her, along with the little cans of apple juice and little boxes of raisins. <laughs> Uh, I want to get out and experience this beautiful day and take you out with me. However, there's a few things that I want to kind of talk about uh, and maybe purge a little bit of some thoughts and give you a little bit of an update uh, before we go ahead and do that. First of all, I don't probably say this often enough, but thank you all so much for your support of the channel. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for viewing my videos. 
I really appreciate you all so, so much. I'm sorry that my videos have been a little bit off schedule recently, but as you might've noticed, it has been a brutal winter here in the West and I think in most of the US. And it's been difficult to get out on adventures when the weather is uh, so treacherous at times and uh, whether it's rain or snow or whatever, you're experiencing through the West. I'm sure people have seen what's going on in California with snow here in Utah. They've had a much higher snowpack than normal. I think records have been, been being broke across the U.S. with weather. The last adventure I brought you was my backpacking trip in Coyote Gulch here in Utah. I had tried to do a trip the prior week. It was supposed to be a different trip. However, a big storm came through, dumped snow, and we wound up just driving around for an entire day trying to find locations to backpack. We did go through Escalante and considered Coyote Gulch. However, there was way too much snow. By the time that all of that was said and done, I had no video for you for that weekend. And, uh, you know, it doesn't pain anyone more than it pains me when I can't bring you a video. What that means for me is not only do I disappoint you, which I hate to do, but also I don't get paid. I don't generate any new ad revenue for that week if I don't publish a video. I had a couple people get quite angry that I had not uh, stuck to my schedule and even had some people unsubscribe because of it, which kind of blows my mind. Uh, I guess I probably don't want those types of viewers if they can't understand uh, that I don't want to put myself in danger. I am still a one woman show. I am still doing all the editing. I do everything for the channel that I do not have any help. So yeah, it's going to happen occasionally and especially during this type of a winter. My videos are real time. Uh, I generally do not have any type of a backlog of videos. I occasionally might have one or two additional videos in the can, but that's pretty rare. So if weather thwarts my plans or if anything happens to come up, a family emergency or something like that, it is highly likely that I will miss a week. After the initial backpacking plans were thwarted, we waited a week for a much more favorable weather window and we were able to get into Coyote Gulch for three nights and four days and it was absolutely beautiful. It was a little teaser of spring to come and man, I just had a, an amazing time on that trip. If you missed that video, make sure you check it out. I will go ahead and link that below. It's funny because my backpacking videos don't generally do as well on the channel in terms of views. I've had a couple that have done very, very well, but in general, they don't get as many views as for instance, my road life videos. Uh, it's a little disappointing for me because they are my favorite type of video to make. They uh, obviously take a lot more work. They're shot over multiple days. It's difficult to film and hike at the same time, but the scenery is generally in places that you cannot get unless you go on foot. Uh, and it's just beautiful to me. It's just an extension of my love of the outdoors and, I would highly encourage you, even if you're not uh, into backpacking, you don't consider yourself a backpacker, you have no interest in backpacking, to watch these videos. They are still done in the Cat Gregory style, uh, still just absolutely stunning scenery and music. And yeah, I'd highly encourage you guys to watch this if you have a chance. Don't skip over them. <laughs> Sorry if the light keeps changing. The sun is poking out from these beautiful white puffy clouds occasionally and then going back behind them. But it is so beautiful right now. In terms of the update portion of this video, I wanna update you on the progress of my sister's cargo trailer. I've had a lot of people asking me about that. Uh, and we are kind of at a standstill at the moment, once again, because of the weather. We don't have a place to work on it indoors. It is currently with the gentleman that's going to be installing the windows and he doesn't have a place to work on it indoors either. So it's been rainy. He hasn't been able to cut the holes in the structure in order to get those windows in. And we're just kind of waiting on that. Hopefully with these next couple of days of decent weather, he can make some progress on it. And I only want to make one more video on it. So I want it to kind of be 
in a position where it's ready for us to start loading in all the goodies and kind of putting it all together in its final form with just a little bit more of showing you what con additional construction's been done on it. I know not everyone is interested in watching me build out a cargo trailer and uh, I've had several people express in no uncertain terms that they are not interested and even had a few people unsubscribe because I made that video. Uh, one of the things about my channel is I do not want to pigeonhole myself into one genre in terms of just road life, just RV life, or just backpacking, or just this or that. Uh, I am sharing with you my real life, and I do many different things in real life. I have many interests in real life, and uh, I don't want to just show you one aspect of my life. I think that would be pretty boring. I know not everybody's going to like everything that I do. I do title them correctly and everyone has freedom of choice. So if you don't like trailer videos, maybe just skip that video. If you're only here for the backpacking videos, it will say a backpacking video and you can just watch that. Uh, I don't necessarily unsubscribe from channels if there's one video that I'm not interested in. I just might skip it and wait for the next one. But to each their own, uh, I will not change what I'm doing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and always add variety to the channel and uh, variety to my life. The mission statement of my channel is and always has been to capture and share the beauty of this world with others. And that is my number one goal, whether it's out camping in my trailer or being on a backpacking trip, and then occasionally maybe some other things thrown in. But that's the general goal of the channel, and that's the majority of the content that you'll see. And one last update before we get outside. Obviously, I'm still here in the mountains of Utah. I'm still on my family's property. I generally always have spent spring in Utah. Spring and fall are the best times to be in Utah. We're just coming up on spring, and I'm excited to get out and do more outdoors adventures once the weather gets uh, more steadily uh, good, <laughs> if you will, for lack of a better word. But yeah, it's just my go-to place to be. I've done it every year since I've been on the road. So I'm not going to be leaving Utah anytime soon. I'll probably still be here through the spring. Having the opportunity to have my trailer here on the, my sister's property is clutch because if I do do backpacking trips, I don't have to leave it at a trailhead or at a campground. It's safe here. And, uh, I will obviously be getting out in the trailer eventually and getting back on the road. But for the spring, I will be staying in Utah. I probably will take the trailer on some adventures here in Utah. Hopefully my sister's trailer will be done soon and she can join me out on some camping adventures. But the adventures will never stop coming. We got a lot more to come and the weather's hopefully about to start getting good after these next bouts of snow and rain. It's gonna eventually get good. <laughs> Anyhow, sorry about the long chat, but those are just a few things that I kind of wanted to purge and get off my chest and update you with and also say again, thank you as always for your support. So let's get outside. I wouldn't be hiking alone today. I had my co-pilot Birdie along for the ride. made it here to the trailhead. I've got my adventure buddy Birdie with me again today. You might notice that I'm not in my truck. My truck was actually stuck in four-wheel drive. It would not come out of four-wheel drive after I came over the pass uh, from my backpacking trip. There was a uh, strange noise, so I think something broke off. Anyhow, it's in the shop being diagnosed currently. So I'm driving a family member's car. I am also wearing this wool hat that has these little ear flaps that can fold down because even though it's sunny and there's beautiful white puffy clouds, it is very cold still. It is in the low 30s. It was in the 20s uh, when I got up this morning. So yeah, but it should be a brisk, beautiful walk.
With so many hiking trails inaccessible due to snow, we opted to walk a beautiful bike trail. This one just took a dip in the water. Her mom is not going to be happy with me. It's cold out here. Well, that was beautiful and very crisp. My face is frozen and it smells a little like wet dog in here. I went ahead and dropped Birdie back off at the property so she could get a bath and I could do a little bit more walking. I wasn't quite ready to head in on this beautiful day, even though it is cold. I wanted to do a little bit more walking. It was wonderful to get out on that very brisk walk. As I mentioned a couple of times, it was cold. At about 2 p.m., it was still only 38 degrees and the wind chill factor made it feel even colder. The breeze kicked up quite a bit, but man, will that wake you up? And I was glad that I got out because more weather is on the way. So who knows, you know, how many more days it'll be before I can get out on a nice walk like that again. I'm getting ready to prepare my dinner and tonight I am making chicken stroganoff. I've got quite a few ingredients for this dish. It's something I've never made before. So let's see how it turns out. Okay, in this bowl here, I'm gonna add uh, a tablespoon of flour and a tablespoon of chicken stock. I'm gonna whisk that together and set it aside. Got my olive oil in the pot and now I'm going to be adding my chicken and salt and pepper. Get that browned up and cooked through. Fresh ground pepper. Okay, the chicken is cooked through, so I'm gonna remove it and set it aside. And to this pan, I'm going to add my onions and mushrooms. Paprika, thyme, oregano, 
red pepper flakes. I'm gonna pour in a little chicken stock and deglaze the pan a little bit, let that reduce. I use wine, but I'm using chicken stock. Got this at a simmer, so I'm gonna go ahead and add my egg noodles, which is about half of this package. Go ahead and stir that and let that cook for about eight minutes. Now I'm going to turn off the heat and add in my chicken. And also add in sour cream, about three tablespoons, and then one tablespoon of mustard. That's looking pretty tasty. I'm gonna spare you watching me eat it, but I'll let you know how it was. That chicken stroganoff turned out really good. <laughs> I enjoy making these one pot meals. I just look up these recipes for one skillet meals, one pot meals. It's very convenient and easy since I only have a two burner stove top and lots of them are just super tasty. This one definitely had that stroganoff kind of a taste, even though it wasn't a beef stroganoff. Maybe I'll try beef stroganoff next. It was really, really good. I am just super pooped. <laughs> I don't know why, but maybe it was the walking today, the cold air, the wind in my face, but it just has taken it out of me. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up today and just chill out for the rest of the evening. I really appreciate you all coming along. And like I said, I appreciate you all. Uh, thank you for letting me share my thoughts earlier. You know, I try not to let things get to me and just to roll with the punches. And for the most part I do, but I just wanted to kind of I guess vent some thoughts or share some thoughts with you today uh, on some of the things that have popped up recently, I guess you could say. So much goes on behind the scenes that I don't share. Uh, you know, like for instance, my truck is in the shop right now. You know, things like this happen all the time and any number of things can delay my video's progress or, you know, make me have to unfortunately skip a week here and there. But I try my best. I have a very strong work ethic and I'm just grateful to all of you that enjoy the videos and that keep coming back. So I'm gonna go ahead and end that here. Stay tuned for the next adventure. I think I am going to be out on a truck camping adventure potentially for the next video. So stay tuned for that and lots more adventures to come. Thank you all. I appreciate you all and I'll see you on the next one. See you soon. Bye-bye.